we're going to look at tetrahedral complexes. Uh, tetrahedral complexes are when you have a ligand that produces a small CF or crystal field split. Um, so a small delta. And we're looking at um, the hybridization is going to be sp3. And we're dealing with a weak field ligand. So keep those things in mind. And then in the next video, we'll look at square planar complexes. Okay, so um, usually a lot of times we're looking at D8 um, metals, such uh, a good example is nickel. And we're going to look at nickel 2 with water, a weak field ligand. And there's only going to be four attached, again, because we're sp3. So first, um, let's look at the hybridization. So we have uh, eight electrons. in the 3D. And we have a weak field ligand. So um, we're not going to have enough pairing energy to cause these two electrons to pair. So um, we're going to go directly into hybridization. And we're going to hybridize SP3. So that's going to match with the tetrahedral, SP3. Okay, and when we go directly into hybridization, We can see we have two uh, unpaired electrons, and our ligand is going to come in here. So we're going to have uh, four sigma H2O bonds, or the coordinate covalent bond. And because it's sp3, it's tetrahedral. Okay, now we want to look over um, on the right. We're going to look at the crystal field diagram. So this is our uh, valence bond diagram. Let's look at the crystal field diagram. And they need to match. By match, I mean... Uh, how the electrons are arranged. Okay, so first we're going to look at nickel again. So this is going to be our 3D and we're going to get a small split. So this is going to be DXY, D Y, Z, and D, X, Z. And again, it's a small split. This is our D, X squared minus Y squared, and our D, Z squared. So it's basically the flip of the octahedral. Okay, and then for our electrons, we'll do those in a different color. One, maybe we won't. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and so the point here 
is if you look at the arrangement of the electrons, they match. We have two unpaired electrons. Okay, so this would be paramagnetic. And we have a small crystal field split. And the reason for that is we have a weak field ligand. In a later movie, I'm going to show you uh, nickel uh, with cyanide, a strong field ligand, and we'll see that it comes out much differently.